The Maronite Church is an Eastern Catholic Sui Iuris particular church in full communion with the Pope and the worldwide Catholic Church, with self-governance under the Code of Canons of the Eastern Churches. It is headed by Patriarch Bachara Boutros al-Rahi since 2011. Officially known as the Syriac Maronite Church of Antioch, it is part of Syriac Christianity by liturgy and heritage. Traditionally, the Maronite Church ministers to the Levant, particularly around Mount Lebanon, where its headquarters Burke is located north of Beirut. Other centers of historical importance include Kafarhe, Yanu, Mayfauk and Kadisha Valley. However, due to emigration since the 19th century, approximately two-thirds of church members are located outside the Antiochians' range and live within the worldwide Lebanese diaspora in Europe, the Americas, Australia and Africa. Establishment of the Maronite Church can be divided into three periods, from the 4th to the 7th centuries. A congregation movement, with Saint Maroon as an inspirational leader and patron saint, marked the first period. The second began with the establishment of the Monastery of Saint Maroon on the Orontes, built after the Council of Chalcedon to defend the doctrines of the Council. This monastery was described as the greatest monastery in the region of Secunda Syria, with more than 300 hermitages around it, according to ancient records. After 518, the monastery de facto administered many parishes in Prima Syria, Col Syria and Phoenicia. The third period was when Seed Vacanti followed the Islamic conquest of the region and bishops of the St. Maroon Monastery elected John Maron as Patriarch around 685 AD, according to the Maronite tradition. The Greek Orthodox Church of Antioch re-established their patriarchate in 751 AD although reduced in numbers today. Maronites remain one of the principal ethno-religious groups in Lebanon, with smaller minorities of Maronites in Syria, Cyprus, Israel, and Jordan. Over three million Maronites practice the faith. Name The Maronite Church Arabic, Alknist Almarnit is officially known as the Syriac Maronite Church of Antioch Latin, Ecclesia Syrorum Maronitarum, Classical Syriac, Ditsriat Mernitantiki translate. Ito Syrioitu Moronoitu Dantiochia, Arabic, Alknist Alantakit al Syrianit Almarnit al Kanisa al Antakia al Syriania al Maruniya. Overview Saint Maroon is considered the founder of the spiritual and monastic movement now called the Maronite Church. This movement has had a profound influence in Lebanon, and to a lesser degree in Syria, Jordan and Palestine. Saint Maroon spent his life on a mountain in Syria, generally believed to be Kefir Nabo, on the mountain of Ol Yambos in the Taurus Mountains, contemporary Turkey, becoming the cradle of the Maronite movement established in the monastery of Saint Maron. The six major traditions of the Catholic Church are Alexandrian, Antiochene, Armenian, Chaldean, Constantinopolitan Byzantine, and Latin Roman. The Maronite Church follows the Antiochene tradition. A Roman Catholic may attend any Eastern Catholic liturgy and fulfill his or her obligations at an Eastern Catholic parish. That is, a Roman Catholic may join any Eastern Catholic parish and receive any sacrament from an Eastern Catholic priest since all belong to the Catholic Church. Maronites who do not reside within a convenient distance to a local Maronite church are permitted to attend other Catholic churches while retaining their Maronite membership. The Maronite Patriarchal Assembly 2003-2004 identified five distinguishing marks of the Maronite church. It is Antiochene. It is Chalcedonian in that the Maronites were strong supporters of the Council of Chalcedon of 451. It is patriarchal and monastic. It is faithful to the See of Peter in Rome. It has strong ties to Lebanon. History Saint Maron, a 4th century monk and a contemporary and friend of Saint John Chrysostom, left Antioch for the Orontes River in modern day Syria to lead an ascetic life, following the traditions of Anthony the Great of the Desert and of Pahomius. Many of his followers also lived a monastic lifestyle. Following Maron's death in 410 AD, his disciples built Beth Maron Monastery at Apamea present-day Kualat al-Madik. This formed the nucleus of the Maronite Church. 
In 452, after the Council of Chalcedon, the monastery was expanded by the Byzantine Emperor Marcion. The Maronite movement reached Lebanon when St. Maron's first disciple, Abraham of Cyrus, who was called the Apostle of Lebanon, set out to convert the non Christians by introducing them to St. Maron. The Maronites subscribed to the beliefs of the Council of Chalcedon in 451. Monophysites of Antioch slew 350 monks and burned the monastery, although Justinian I later restored the walls. Correspondence concerning the event brought the Maronites papal and orthodox recognition, indicated by a letter from Pope Hormistas dated 10 February 518. Representatives from Beth Maron participated in the Constantinople synods of 536 and 553. An outbreak of civil war during the reign of Emperor Phocas brought forth riots in the cities of Syria and Palestine and incursions by Persian King Khosrau II. In 609, the Patriarch of Antioch, Anastasius II, was killed either at the hands of some soldiers or locals. This left the Maronites without a leader, which continued because of the final Byzantine-Sassanid War of 602-628. In the aftermath of the war, the Emperor Heraclius propagated a new Christological doctrine in an attempt to unify the various Christian churches of the East, who were divided over accepting the Council of Chalcedon. This doctrine, the unity of Christ's will with God's, was meant as a compromise between supporters of Chalcedon, such as the Maronites, and opponents, such as the Jacobites. The doctrine was endorsed by Pope Honorius I to win back the Monophysites but problems soon arose see his anathematization. Instead, the unity of Christ's will with God's Mia the Lightism was misunderstood as monothelitism that Christ and God have only one will which caused even greater controversy, and was declared a heresy at the Third Council of Constantinople in 680–681. The council condemned both Honorius and Patriarch Sergius I of Constantinople but did not mention the Maronites. Contemporary Greek and Arab sources misrepresented the Miathelite Maronites as having rejected the Third Council and accepted monothelitism, and that the Miathelites in fact maintained monothelitism for centuries, only moving away from it in the time of the Crusades in order to avoid being branded heretics by the Crusaders. The Maronite Church, however, rejects the assertion that the Maronites were ever monothelites or apart from the Roman Catholic Church, and the question remains a matter of controversy. Elias L. Hayek attributes much of the confusion to Eutyches of Alexandria, whose annals contain erroneous material regarding the early Maronite Church, which was then picked up by William of Tyre and others. During the start of the Patriarchs' periods, the persecution of Christians and Arabization of the region, including the destruction of the monastery of St. Maron, led the majority of the Maronites to move to the barren mountains of Lebanon, especially the northern territory. They established a closed, rural, hierarchical society, re-established their communications with the papacy during the Crusades, maintained Syriac up to the 18th century, and shifted to Lebanese Arabic as their native language. They issued many liturgical reforms, most notably during Kanuban's Council of 1580, and the Lebanese Council of 1736 which seems in many parts to be a Latinization gained protection from the monarchy of France for the Church and its community. They organized the monastery in 1696. They played an influential role in Lebanon's political scene especially after 1770 when the Chahab dynasty joined the Maronite Church. That choice was an essential element of the creation of Greater Lebanon in 1920, seen widely by scholars as fulfillment of the Maronites' desire. However, due to mass emigration and eventually the Lebanese Civil War 1975 the Maronite role in the Second Lebanese Republic declined. First Maronite Patriarch The Patriarch of Antioch Anastasius II died in 609, and Constantinople began to appoint a series of titular patriarchs, who resided in Constantinople. In 685, the Maronites elected Bishop John Maron of Betrune as Patriarch of Antioch and all the East. Through him, later Maronites claimed full apostolic succession through the Patriarchal See of Antioch. While this installation of a patriarch was seen as a usurpation by the Orthodox hierarchy, John received the approval of Pope Sergius I, and became the first Maronite patriarch of the oldest see in Christianity. In 687, as part of an agreement with Abd al-Malik ibn Marwan, Byzantine Emperor Justinian II sent 12,000 Christian Maronites from Lebanon to Armenia, in exchange for a substantial payment and half the revenues of Cyprus. 
There they were conscripted as rowers and marines in the Byzantine navy. Additional resettlement efforts allowed Justinian to reinforce naval forces depleted by earlier conflicts. The Maronites struggled to retain their autonomy against both imperial power and Arab incursions on the part of the Damascus Caliphate. Maron established himself in the remote Kadisha Valley in Lebanon. In 694, Justinian sent troops against the Maronites in an unsuccessful attempt to capture the Patriarch. Maron died in 707 at the monastery of St. Maron in Lebanon. Around 749 the Maronite community, in the Lebanon mountains, built the Mar Mama church at Eden. Meanwhile, caught between the Byzantines and the Arabs, the monastery at Beth Maron struggled to survive. Islamic rule. After they came under Arab rule following the Muslim conquest of Syria 634 Maronite immigration to Lebanon, which had begun some time before, increased, intensifying under the Abbasid Caliph al-Mamun The Maronites experienced an improvement in their relationship with the Byzantine Empire. Emperor Constantine IV reigned 668-685 provided direct ecclesiastical, political and military support to the Maronites. The new alliance coordinated devastating raids on Muslim forces, providing a welcome relief to besieged Christians throughout the Middle East. During this period the region was dominated by the Abbasids, who persecuted the Maronites. Around AD 1017, a new Muslim sect, the Druze, emerged. At that time the Maronites, as dhimmis, were required to wear black robes and black turbans and they were forbidden to ride horses. To eliminate internal descent, from 1289 to 1291 Egyptian Mamluk troops descended on Mount Lebanon, destroying forts and monasteries. <laughs> Crusades Following the Muslim conquest of Eastern Christendom outside Anatolia and Europe in the 7th century and after the establishment of secured lines of demarcation between Islamic caliphs and Byzantine emperors, little was heard from the Maronites for 400 years. Secure in their mountain strongholds, the Maronites were rediscovered in the mountains near Tripoli, Lebanon, by Raymond of Toulouse on his way to conquer Jerusalem in the Great Crusade of 1096–1099. Raymond later returned to besiege Tripoli after the conquest of Jerusalem in 1099, and relations between the Maronites and European Christianity were re established. The Maronites assisted the Crusaders and affirmed their affiliation with the Holy See of Rome in 1182. To commemorate their communion, Maronite Patriarch Yusuf al Jurjasi received the crown and staff, marking his patriarchal authority, from Pope Paschal II in 1100 AD. In 1131, Maronite Patriarch Gregorios al-Halati received letters from Pope Innocent II in which the papacy recognized the authority of the Patriarchate of Antioch. Patriarch Jeremiah's II al-Amshiti became the first Maronite Patriarch to visit Rome when he attended the Fourth Council of the Lateran in 1215. The Patriarchate of Antioch was also represented at the Council of Ferrara in 1438, Peter Hans Kolvenbach notes. This contact with the Latin Church enriched the intellectual world of Europe in the Middle Ages. Maronites taught Oriental languages and literature at the universities of Italy and France. Topic: <inaudible> Ottoman rule. In the Ottoman Empire, indigenous concentrated religious communities dealt mainly with the provincial administration. Officially, Maronites had to pay the jizya tax as non-Muslims, but sometimes the monks and clergy were exempt because they were considered to be poor. Fakhr al-Din II was a Druze prince and a leader of the Emirate of Shuf district in the Governorate of Mount Lebanon. Maronite Abu Nadir al-Khazan was one of his foremost supporters and served as Fakhr al-Din's adjutant. Fares notes that the emirs prospered from the intellectual skills and trading talents of the Maronites, while the Christians gained political protection, autonomy and a local ally against the ever-present threat of direct Ottoman rule." In 1649, Patriarch Johanna al-Sufrari placed the Maronites under French protection, and the French opened a consulate in Beirut. The Khazan sheikhs increased in power and influence. 
In 1662, with the mediation of Jesuit missionaries, Abu Nafal al Khazan was named French consul, despite complaints by Marseille merchants that he wasn't from Marseille. The church prospered from the protection and influence of the Khazans, but at the expense of interference in church affairs, particularly ecclesiastical appointments, which the Khazans saw as an extension of their political influence. In 1610, the Maronite monks of the monastery of Saint Anthony of Kojaya imported one of the first printing presses in the Arabic speaking world, however, that press printed in the Syriac language, not Arabic. The monasteries of Lebanon later became key players in the Arabic Renaissance of the late 19th century as a result of developing Arabic, as well as Syriac, printable script. Bashir Chahab II was the first and last Maronite ruler of the Emirate of Mount Lebanon. A convert from Sunni Islam, his rivalry with the Druze leader Bashir Jumblat caused tension between the two communities. In the 1822 war between Damascus and Acre, they backed opposite sides. In the spring of 1860, war broke out between the Druze population and the Maronite Christians. The Ottoman authorities in Lebanon could not stop the violence and it spread into neighboring Syria, with the massacre of many Christians. In Damascus, the Emir Abd Lkadr protected the Christians there against the Muslim rioters. French Emperor Napoleon III felt obliged to intervene on behalf of the Christians, despite London's opposition, which feared it would lead to a wider French presence in the Middle East. After arduous negotiations to obtain the approval of the British government, Napoleon III sent a French contingent of 7,000 men for a period of six months. The troops arrived in Beirut in August 1860 and took positions in the mountains between the Christian and Muslim communities. He then organized an international conference in Paris, where the country was placed under the rule of a Christian governor named by the Ottoman Sultan, which restored a fragile peace. French rule Topic. Independent Lebanon Topic. Synod of Mount Lebanon 1736. Maronite Orientalist Joseph Simon Assemani presided as papal legate for Pope Clement XII. The synod drafted a code of canons for the Maronite Church and created the first regular diocesan structure. The Council of Lueza led to a more effective church structure and to gradual emancipation from the influence of Maronite families. Education was declared a major task. Through the joint efforts of the Church and French Jesuits, literacy became widespread. <laughs> Latinization Due to closer ties with the Latin Church, the Maronite Church is among the most Latinized of the Eastern Catholic Churches. Although there have been moves to return to Eastern practices, contacts between the Maronite monks and Rome date to the 5th century and were revived during the Crusades. The Maronites introduced to Eastern Churches Western devotional practices such as the Rosary and the Stations of the Cross. Late in the 16th century, Pope Gregory XIII sent Jesuits to the Lebanese monasteries to ensure that their practice conformed to decisions made at the Council of Trent. The Maronite College in Rome was established by Gregory XIII in 1584. The Maronite Missal Carbono was first printed between 1592 and 1594 in Rome, although with fewer anaphoras. The Venerable Anaphora Eucharistic Prayer Shirar, attributed to Saint Peter, was eliminated from later editions. Patriarch Stephen al Duwehai (1670–1704) later declared a servant of God, was able to find a middle ground between reformers and conservatives, and revitalized Maronite liturgical tradition. The Synod of Mount Lebanon sought to incorporate both traditions. It formalized many of the Latin practices that had developed, but also attempted to preserve ancient Maronite liturgical tradition. The Synod did not sanction the exclusive use of the Roman ritual in the administration of baptism. However, in the Eastern tradition, the oil of catechumens is blessed by the priest during the baptismal rite. This blessing was now reserved to the Chrism Mass of Holy Thursday. A practice common among all the Eastern churches is to administer baptism and First Communion together. As in the Latin rite Holy Communion is to be given only to those who have attained the age of reason, priests were forbidden to give communion to infants. 
In Oriental Lumen, the Apostolic Letter to the Churches of the East, issued 2 May 1995, Pope John Paul II quotes Orientalium Ecclesiarum, the Second Vatican Council's decree on the Eastern Catholic Churches. It has been stressed several times that the full union of the Catholic Eastern Churches with the Church of Rome, which has already been achieved, must not imply a diminished awareness of their own authenticity and originality. Wherever this occurred, the Second Vatican Council has urged them to rediscover their full identity, because they have the right and the duty to govern themselves according to their own unique disciplines. For these are guaranteed by ancient tradition and seem to be better suited to the customs of their faithful and to the good of their souls." Cardinal Sphere's personal commitment accelerated liturgical reforms in the 1980s and 1990s. In 1992 he published a new Maronite Missal. This represents an attempt to return to the original form of the Antiochene liturgy, removing the liturgical Latinization of past centuries. The service of the Word has been described as far more enriched than in previous Missals, and there are six anaphoras. Patriarch Sphere stated that Sacrosanctum Concilium and the Roman liturgical changes following Vatican II apply to the Maronite Church. Sacrosanctum Concilium says. Among these principles and norms there are some which can and should be applied both to the Roman rite and also to all the other rites. The practical norms which follow, however, should be taken as applying only to the Roman rite, except for those which, in the very nature of things, affect other rites as well. <laughs> organization Patriarchate of Antioch. The head of the Maronite Church is the Patriarch of Antioch and the whole Levant, who is elected by the Maronite bishops and resides in Berkay, close to Junia, north of Beirut and in the northern town of Dimane during the summer months. There are four other claimants to the patriarchal succession of Antioch. Two other Eastern Catholic, also in full communion with the Papal Holy See of Rome. The Patriarch of Antioch and all the East, Alexandria and Jerusalem of the Melkite Greek Catholic Church Byzantine Rite. The Patriarch of Antioch and all the east of the Syriacs of the Syriac Catholic Church Antiochian Rite. Two Orthodox. Eastern Orthodox Church, the Greek Orthodox Patriarch of Antioch and all the east, of the Antiochian Orthodox Church, in communion with the Ecumenical Patriarch of Constantinople. Oriental Orthodoxy, the Patriarch of Antioch and all the East, Supreme Head of the Syriac Orthodox Church The Maronite Patriarch of Antioch and the whole Levant since March 2011 is Cardinal Mar Bachara Boutros Rahi, while Cardinal Mar Nasrallah Boutros Sphere is Patriarch Emeritus. When a new Patriarch is elected and enthroned, he requests ecclesiastical recognition by the Pope, thus maintaining communion with the Holy See. As an Eastern Catholic Patriarch, the Patriarch is usually created a Cardinal by the Pope in the rank of a Cardinal Bishop, he does however not receive a Suburbicarian see required to become Dean, even ranks below those six, but is known by the title of the Patriarchate of his Sway Iuris Church. Celibacy is not strictly required for Maronite deacons and priests of parishes outside of North America. Monks, however, must remain celibate, as well as bishops who are normally selected from the monasteries. Due to a long-term understanding with their Latin counterparts in North America, Maronite priests in that area have traditionally remained celibate. However, in February 2014, Wissam Akiki was ordained to the priesthood by Bishop A. Elias Zidon of the U.S. Maronite Eparchy of Our Lady of Lebanon at St. Raymond's Maronite Cathedral in St. Louis. Deacon Akiki is the first married man to be ordained to the Maronite priesthood in North America and will not be expected to uphold a vow of celibacy. Topic. Dioceses The Maronite Church has 26 eparchies and patriarchal vicariates as follows, despite the many archiepiscopates, none is a metropolitan abstraction made of the Patriarch of Antioch, who has a single suffragan Jeba Sarba Junia and hence an ecclesiastical province. In Latin America, two Maronite eparchies are suffragans of Latin metropolitans. Topic. Middle East Maronite Catholic Patriarchate of Antioch see above worldwide immediately subject to the Patriarch in Lebanon Maronite Catholic Archiparchy of Antilias Maronite Catholic Eparchy of Baalbek Deir el Amar Maronite Catholic Eparchy of Batroun 
Maronite Catholic Archiparchy of Beirut Maronite Catholic Eparchy of Jebel Maronite Catholic Eparchy of Jubei, Sarba and Junia sole suffragan of the Patriarch of Antioch Maronite Catholic Eparchy of Sidon Maronite Catholic Archiparchy of Tripoli Maronite Catholic Archiparchy of Tyre Maronite Catholic Eparchy of Zalahan the Holy Land Maronite Catholic Archiparchy of Haifa and the Holy Land, in Israel whose Archiparch holds the offices of Patriarchal Vicar of Patriarchal Exarch of the Maronite Catholic Patriarchal Exarchate of Jerusalem and Palestine in the Palestinian territories and Maronite Catholic Patriarchal Exarchate of Jordan in Trans Jordan in Syria Maronite Catholic Archiparchy of Damascus Maronite Catholic Archiparchy of Aleppo Maronite Catholic Eparchy of Latakia In Cyprus, Maronite Catholic Archiparchy of Cyprus in Nicosia In Egypt, Maronite Catholic Eparchy of Cairo Elsewhere Exempt, i.e. immediately subject to the Holy See, in Africa, Maronite Catholic Eparchy of Annunciation of Ibadan, with Cathedral C being Church of Our Lady of the Annunciation, in Ibadan, in Nigeria In South America, Maronite Catholic Apostolic Exarchate of Colombia, with Pro-Cathedral C being Church of Our Lady of Lebanon, in Bogotá, in Colombia subject to the Synod in matters of liturgical and particular law, otherwise exempt, i.e. immediately subject to the Holy See and its Roman Congregation for the Eastern Churches, in Europe Maronite Catholic Eparchy of Our Lady of Lebanon of Paris in France In North and Central America Maronite Catholic Eparchy of St. Maron of Montreal, in Canada Maronite Catholic Eparchy of Our Lady of Lebanon of Los Angeles in the United States US West Coast. Maronite Catholic Eparchy of St. Maron of Brooklyn in the United States US East Coast. St. Joseph Maronite Catholic Church in Sandy Springs, Georgia Maronite Catholic Eparchy of Our Lady of the Martyrs of Lebanon in Mexico in Mexico In Oceania Maronite Catholic Eparchy of St. Maron of Sydney, in Australia Suffragan Eparchies in the ecclesiastical provinces of Latin Metropolitan Archbishops, both in South America, Maronite Catholic Eparchy of San Charbel in Buenos Aires in Argentina, Suffragan of the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Buenos Aires Maronite Catholic Eparchy of Our Lady of Lebanon of São Paulo in Brazil, Suffragan of the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of São Paulo Topic. Titular sees Four titular archbishoprics Nun Metropolitan, Cyrus of the Maronites, Laodicea in Syria of the Maronites, Nazareth of the Maronites, Nisibis of the Maronites Nine titular bishoprics, Apamea in Syria of the Maronites, Akka in Armenia of the Maronites, Akka in Phoenicia of the Maronites, Kalinicum of the Maronites, Epiphania in Syria of the Maronites, Hemesa of the Maronites, Ptolemy in Phoenicia of the Maronites, Sarepta of the Maronites, Tarsus of the Maronites. Religious institutes orders. Lebanese Maronite Order Antonin Maronite Order Mariamite Maronite Order Congregation of Maronite Lebanese Missionaries Population The global Maronite population is not exactly known, but is estimated at more than 3 million, according to the Catholic Near East Welfare Association. According to the official site of the Maronite Church, approximately 1,062,000 Maronites live in Lebanon, where they constitute up to 22–23% of the population. Syrian Maronites total 51,000, following the Archdiocese of Aleppo and Damascus and the Diocese of Latakia. A Maronite community of about 10,000 lives in Cyprus that speaks Cypriot Maronite Arabic. A noticeable Maronite community exists in northern Israel Galilee, numbering 7,504, famous for its preservation attempts of the Aramaic language and Aramean ethnic identity. Diaspora Immigration of Maronite faithful from the Middle East to the United States began during the latter part of the 19th century. 
When the faithful were able to obtain a priest, communities were established as parishes under the jurisdiction of the local Latin bishops. In January 1966, Pope Paul VI established the Maronite Apostolic Exarchate for the Maronite faithful of the United States. In a decree of the Sacred Congregation for the Eastern Churches, Bishop Francis Mansur Zayek was appointed the first exarch. The see, in Detroit, Michigan, with a cathedral under the patronage of St. Maron, was suffragan to the Archdiocese of Detroit. In 1971, Pope Paul VI elevated the Exarchate to the status of an eparchy, with the name of Eparchy of St. Marin of Detroit. In 1977, the see of the Eparchy of St. Marin was transferred to Brooklyn, New York, with the cathedral under the patronage of Our Lady of Lebanon. The name of the eparchy was modified to Eparchy of St. Marin of Brooklyn. In 1994, the Eparchy of Our Lady of Lebanon was established with the cathedral at Los Angeles, California, under the patronage of Our Lady of Lebanon. John George Chedid, Auxiliary Bishop of the Diocese of St. Marin of Brooklyn, was ordained as the first bishop of the Maronite Catholic Eparchy of Our Lady of Lebanon of Los Angeles at the Our Lady of Lebanon Cathedral in Los Angeles, California, where he served until he reached the mandatory retirement age of 80. In December 2000, Robert Joseph Shaheen succeeded Chedid as Eparch. The two eparchies in the United States have issued their own Maronite census designed to estimate the population of Maronites in the United States. Many have been assimilated into Western Catholicism absent Maronite parishes or priests. The Maronite census was designed to locate these Maronites. Eparchies operate in São Paulo in Brazil, as well as in Colombia, México, France, Australia, South Africa, Canada, and Argentina. The history of the Lebanese community in South Africa dates to the late 19th century, when the first immigrants arrived in Johannesburg, the biggest city in the Transvaal, having come from Sebhul, Messiara, Bechar, Hadith el Jeba, Magdouche, and other places. It is recorded that in 1896, the first Maronite and Lebanese immigrants arrived in Durban, Cape Town, and Mozambique, and congregated around their local Catholic churches. Other Medal, Great Cross, and Golden Order of the Maronite General Council of the Maronite Church See also Charbel Maclouf Phoenicianism Cross of All Nations Our Lady of Lebanon St. George in Devotions, Traditions and Prayers References Bibliography Further reading Musa, Mati, The Maronites in History, Gorgeous Press, Piscataway, New Jersey, 2005, ISBN 978 one 59333 5 R. J. Muawad, Les Maronites. Cradiens du Liban, Breppels Publishers, Turnhout, 2009, ISBN 978 2 503 53041 3 Kamal Salabi, A House of Many Mansions, The History of Lebanon Reconsidered University of California Press, 1990. Maronite Church. New Catholic Encyclopedia, 2nd edition, 2003. Riley Smith, Jonathan. The Oxford Illustrated History of the Crusades Oxford University Press, Oxford, 1995. Suerman, Harold. Histoire des origines de l'Église Maronite, P.U.S.E.K., Catholic, 2010, ISBN 978-9953-491-67-7 Barber, Malcolm. Letters from the East, Crusades, Pilgrims and Settlers in the 12th-13th Centuries, Ashgate Press, Reading, United Kingdom, 2013, ISBN 978-1-4724-1393-2 Topic. Sources and external links Our Lady of Lebanon Maronite Catholic Cathedral, Brooklyn, New York Maronite History Project. A Maronite Encyclopedia Wiki Catholic Culture, News — Maronite Population Discussed Monasterio San Charbel Caracas Venezuela The Divine Office for Lent is a Maronite document from 1695 
Article on the Maronite Catholic Church by Ronald Roberson on the CNEWA website. Homepage of Fr. Damien Hungs in German. Topic: Maronite Hierarchy. The Maronite Patriarchate at Berkeley. Maronite Eparchies. Topic: Eparchies. Maronite Rite Diocese based in Sydney, Australia. Eparchy of Saint Maron of Brooklyn. Eparchy of Our Lady of Lebanon of Los Angeles Eparchy of St. Marin of Canada, Montreal, Canada Maronite Church Religious Orders Maronite Order of the Blessed Virgin Mary Congregation of the Maronite Lebanese Missionaries The Maronite Monks of Adoration, Most Holy Trinity Monastery — Monastery in Massachusetts <laughs>